Hey guys, my name is Skitsa and today we will be starting our very first Let's Play of Total War 3 Kingdoms. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot in my free time, so I figured why not share some with you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing the campaign mode, and uh, so I have two campaigns under my belt doing coalition characters, so I wanted to try something new. I want to play one of the governors, and what's unique about the governors is they're loyal, loyal to the hand, so they can't declare themselves as emperor by creating an emperor seat. So if I understand the mechanic correctly, you have to wait for members of the coalition to declare this themselves king, and then you go take over their seats, and that's how you win the game. So pretty interesting mechanic. So as far as character specialization for Leo Biao, who is the one that we are playing, Gentleman of the Hand, he has plus 10 satisfaction and plus 2 public order uh, passive to start off with, which in the early game uh, will probably help quite a bit. Um, I know a lot of the uh, characters you get, their satisfaction is pretty bad until you start researching stuff to counteract that. Um, so we have unique unique characters over here, Inf Infantry of the Jing and then Imperial Defenders. So they're both uh, kind of those polearm infantry with shields and stuff, um, lots of armor, lots of morale. So seem pretty cool. Lodging replaces the inn and adds more character experience. So Lu Biao's whole thing is... Uh, characters gain extra experience in, in his court. A uh, combination with this lodging and court scholars, uh, in his court you can set up uh, a student tutor system to gain have someone gain more XP. Uh, so, so pretty cool. Um, and so I have to just say, I can't even pronounce English words correctly, so I'm going to butcher almost every single Chinese word. I'm going to try and say, feel free to yell at me in the comments and, you know, correct me and all that fun stuff. So, our, my first attempt, Huang Xiong, I guess, is a noteworthy, noteworthy character you start out with. Uh, he's pretty cool. Old dude, hopefully he survives the campaign. Um, and I, I do have to say, we're playing on the new patch, 1.3.0. It's in beta right now. So, we could very well run into some bugs or crashes or whatever. We'll work through it. Um, we're going to be playing on very hard, very hard. Uh, and romance mode still. I'll, I'll probably eventually do a records mode one. I've kind of been playing some, uh, doing some play testing with records mode, and it really changes a lot of the the battles and stuff. So um, for this one, still going to do romance mode because I feel like the uh, his theme of gaining extra character XP will work a lot better with uh, the legendary legendary characters and stuff. Um, so Leo Biao has a hard rated starting uh, situation, so there'll be, there'll be some things that we have to quickly figure out and work through, mainly. Uh, the fact that he starts with negative food. So let's just jump on in and try and figure it out. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Many see their lineage in the fires, and they grieve. Yet these troubles have come before. The world must still turn. Liu Biao will tend to the Empire. He always has. The capital, my lord. It is in ruins. So Dong Zhuo destroys the seat of the Han. There is no redemption for a tyrant. He absconds to the west, to Chang'an, with the Emperor as his captive. He has my kin hostage. Such vile treachery. They say I lack the vitality of my cousin, Liu Bei. But I have my own talents. War is waged with coin by solid governments. That is my strength. I govern. To the south, Sun Jian hoards the fertile plains, whilst Yuran Shu gathers strength in the north. They are avaricious and unworthy men. They cannot be allowed to grow. The blood of the Han runs in my veins, so long as that is so. I will defend my lineage against all threats. An imperial destiny awaits you, my lord. If you cannot defend the throne, seize it. 
All right, the first kind of mission we get, establish your power. Lord Liabao, you have been an effective governor, but even your territory is not safe from the rising chaos. Dong Jiao controls your kin, the emperor. It is not unthinkable that he will seek to eventually supplant him. You must ensure the Han Dynasty survives, yet the ambitious, uh, ambitious lurk everywhere. Sun Jian and Yuan Shao have long coveted your territory, so you must tend to your defenses before you can look to the rest of China's woes. Yeah, so uh, it kind of gives us a little hints on who some of our first enemies will be, Yuan Shao, uh, Sun Jian. Um, but first, we have Yellow Turban dudes, a uh, nice little rebellion in our own territory and in our neighboring territory. So that's going to be our first uh, first bit of actions there. Um, so here's our first mission, just telling us to, to attack this dude right here, Liao Hu, Hua. I, I'm so bad at pronouncing these. Um, so the first couple turns will probably blow through pretty quickly, but I, would, I just want to back up here. Uh, diplomatic status view. Liu Biao actually starts with two vassals. The, these two dudes down here and uh, Yellow Turban is kind of all through our, our immediate territory. This is, uh, we'll, we'll be taking this over this turn because um, we fight this guy and then it has us fight the tool makers. But our first major major attack plan will be coming down here and and relieving our vassal this dude is is going to start getting attacked by uh he yi pretty immediately so this is a pretty good opportunity to build up our force and just take this iron mine in this town expand our territory a little bit and uh yuan shao is is literally right above us he'll be neighboring relatively quick uh so that'll very likely be our first real conflict um not saying the yellow turbans can't be hard but you know, as far as uh, major major characters that survived the whole game, uh, Sun Jin, he kind of absconds himself down here, and usually, unless you do something about him, he just kind of takes over this entire territory down here. So I'm kind of, you know, I kind of want to play this one differently because both both campaigns I've played, end game is like, oh, now I have to deal with uh, Sun Jin, which is like down here at the bottom with you know massive territory like all this stuff so i kind of want to see what happens if you take them out relatively quickly like what happens to all these territories when they're just left you know to their own devices um so let's take a look at what we have real quick the court this is the student function i was talking about earlier i don't think it does anything um oh i guess it does you get you just automatically get plus 25 character experience so that's that's actually probably worthwhile to go ahead and put someone in there uh, immediately I I kind of thought you had to have a tutor for student to work but uh, I guess it doesn't um, so who do we want to put in there kind of feel like maybe one of these uh, strat uh, strategists either of these legendary neither one's legendary this guy's happier. Let's put him in there. Oh, and it has to be 18 to 35. Oh, he's going to get kicked out in a year. So that's fine. We can do this just temporarily. He'll just get a passive 25% experience. Here's our family tree. Our uh, our awesome dude at the top, Leo Biao. We have a couple kids um, and a daughter who is not of age. Can't really do anything for us now. Uh, so like I said, we have two vassals. We have a non-aggressive pack with Dong Zhao. We don't like him very much, just personally, but he kind of controls the Han, the Han and uh, we are loyal to the Han right now. So let's turn that advisor off. So we're not going to go around attacking the, the Han territories like you would as the coalition to kind of gobble it all up. Um, all right, so we have two. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and equip these. That's fine. Uh, with our generals um, this guy he starts with kind of low I mean I guess it's not that low 41 but we can go ahead and put something uh, they're both the same you can have the wooden ox take that we'll pop this guy on our leader even though it won't really do us any good right now but it does help with the authority and eventually when we start doing spy stuff it'll be helpful Resolve. Okay, he has something there. We'll temper it. We'll just give it. Actually, it won't. It won't do us any good. So we could uh, boost our stat at the tiniest little bit, but we'll we'll save that for another person. All right. So let's go ahead and do our fights, and then we'll figure out some stuff to buy. 
So, I mean, we could just auto-resolve this, but I'm gonna fight the first couple. Uh, eventually, we'll get to the point where if it's so stacked in our favor with a decisive victory, we'll just delegate it. But for now, we'll just do, we'll do a couple fights. All right, so I like to group all my guys. Uh, I usually put all my missile range weapons, um, archers on one, like literally the number one. I like to focus fire, I don't really split them up. Uh, and then my melee, my main melee line as another one, kind of spread out behind. And then I'll do cavalry as a group. I'll include the uh, the vanguard there because he's kind of he's basically a cavalry member himself. This guy has a bow and arrow. Uh, I'm gonna put fire at will. I'm gonna take skirmishing mode off because he doesn't really need to run away. But these two can be number four. All right, so we'll just do that. Um, the guy, I'm pretty sure they are just hanging out over here. So we'll just slide our army up right here. We're not going to run. We don't want to tire ourselves out. We will have our cavalry kind of co come over here on the side to uh, just scout around. Have them walk and we'll just speed up time. Yeah, like I said, they, sh they should be hanging out here before. Um... At least that's what when I when I was kind of play testing this this faction a little bit the first fight they were just kind of hanging out right there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Forgot. Look look how cool this guy is. I know he's an old dude, but I love his hat. He's got a bow. He's got cool armor. Like I, I love this guy. I think he's really cool looking. I played I played this character a lot in uh, in my multiplayer videos. My my first two I think I had this guy on there. Really like that guy. Here's Leo Biao. He's kind of just plain, plain looking dude. Yeah, you know whatever. Um, then this this is just a, a generic, generic vanguard. Even though he's a family me like an immediate family family member of Leo Biao, I really hope they like really fill in all the legendary uh, characters. Or, or named characters uh, with custom portraits and stuff like that. All right, just did regular mode because we should be able to see this guy relatively soon. All right, we kind of stopped. Oh, we didn't stop moving up. All right, that was taking too long for a beginning fight. We didn't quite make it. All right, let's just go all the way to the other side of the forest. I'll just let him run, it's fine. Let these guys run. There we are. Okay. You guys shoot them. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that fight. Thanks, though. Alright, and he, you see those straight arrows? He's just, like, popping them off, trying to hit people. He does not have very much, uh... Did I do that right? Left click. Yeah, I was doing that wrong. Okay, he did it. All right, we'll pull these guys in. Oh, they're like rushing down, okay. So we'll have you two fight that one. You two fight, oh, I guess they got flip-flopped. Oh, well. We'll just have these guys come in and just, uh, just hit them in the back. That should like pretty much kill them. Oh, wait, what happened? Did I not decline it? I, I don't think I declined it. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so that one one cavalry charge in the back there just kind of killed their morale. And they should all run away. I guess we'll sit here and watch these guys. Oh, he just flung him over his back. I don't have any cooldowns I can do. Just kind of getting tossed around. We might actually have to run away. I like how they they make a circle. Like we're not gonna mess with these guys. We'll just have them keep keep fighting them. We'll watch this fight. He's confident. Interrupting a duel will have confidence. Yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. We will not be interrupting any duels. Who are you shooting at? Shouldn't be anyone left. 
All right, our buddy is losing. I didn't, I did not mean to uh, accept this fight. We'll, we'll wait a bit, let him knock him down, just a tiny bit. Maybe we'll speed up. Oh, that looks funky. I'm gonna go ahead and run away. I, I did not want to do this duel. I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't decline it in time. It's not had that happen to me before. All right, we'll, we'll run away. And uh, everyone can just go ahead and try and kill him. I will claim victory. Decisive victory, we did it, good job. Wow, we literally wiped out both of their units. There's one guy left, which is the general. Each victory brings we only lost 35, um, we killed 240. Um, nothing of value. I mean, I don't just want to execute him for no reason. I'll take the 100. It's fine. Uh, since we're about to do another fight, 2% replenishment is not much, but will immediately help with the next fight. It's really not that much at all, but that's fine. Alright, we completed our first mission. We got plus 30 military supplies, plus 5 morale, faction wide. Good for us. Alright, next mission is take over the toolmaker over here. Uh, Ziang Yang, I guess is how you pronounce it. Liao Biao moves to destroy the Yellow Turban Menace. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Fight side by side. Uh, we don't need the advisor going on. Um, basically, she's saying as your generals fight together, they can become friends or figure out that they annoy each other. Um, do we need to do anything else with this stuff? These are all kind of things we've already gone through. Complete. Killed in battle. Oh, we killed him. Yeah. I thought we ransomed him, but it said we killed him. Oh, well. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the Toolmaker. Close victory. We'll try and see if we can get a decisive victory. It's really hard in these beginning fights, especially with the towers that sit there and peg your guys. So, we'll do, we'll do this battle. Alright, so, let's make our groups. I think we'll do two swords. Two swords on this one. Put the axes on this one. And uh, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have these guys, once we start, um, I'm gonna have them snake around and come in from the back, take over that tower. Cause I don't think they'll have enough garrison to do anything other than just fill in those two spots. Yeah, they shouldn't have anything over there. So we're gonna go ahead and... Whoops, no, 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 no. That's not, hold on, hold on. I messed up. All right, you guys should be group four. You guys should be group five. Kind of messed up my, my thing here. All right, you guys are back to group three. Stand there, good job. All right, you guys, come over here. Actually, you can, looks like you can snake through right here. Might be able to get get out of uh, a few arrow shots if I can snake through that forest. We'll, we'll see. No, it's still shooting, that one's shooting. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the wrong uh, the wrong thing. Here's the tower range. Alright, so we'll just send them straight in there. Take that over. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Go through the forest, they get a little cover. I think they should be getting shot at. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess I couldn't see him going through the forest either. Okay, cool. We'll take that over pretty easy. All right, so that'll pull off some cavalry on the back there. We'll go ahead and send these guys in to... That, that fight is fine right there. All right, we have the tower. Um, let's move up a little bit and see what he does. I don't want these guys to get immediately pelted by those. I think we'll go ahead and attack here. Alright, we're, we're going to try and snake this guy around. Oh, he he's moving. Okay. Ooh, that is, that is hurting my cavalry there. The timing was not great. Maybe we can get in and do some damage there. Alright, you guys get in. Maybe attack that one. Oh, we snuck around their spear, and that's good. A nice charge on them. Don't want them get, to get all tangled up in these spears, though. Alright, you guys attack the other one. I just want to keep these these uh, archers occupied. Alright, you guys attack that one now. Actually, you stay and make sure you capture that. We need to... Oh, no. Are we seriously losing? <laughs> oh, God. We're, we should not be losing that, that character. All right, we captured that, fantastic. All right, you guys need to go around. Who's getting shot? Oh, you're back, okay. Um, go over here and help them. All right, we need to get away from those spears. Or we'll just have them attack uh, attack those guys. Okay, you keep going around. Okay, come back. All right, you know what? I'm just going to group all you guys together. I think a rear charge on these guys will be okay. Oh. All right, smash into them. Smash into them. Oh, these guys are back. Oh, those guys are back too. All right, let's move up a tiny bit further and flank. Get a nice flank on those guys. Should be okay. Let's turn around and attack there, I suppose. I want to use his ability here against someone. I should have used it before we engaged, but wasn't really thinking about it. Didn't have really, didn't really have a need to use this guy, their ability, because the the archers were shooting on my cavalry, who he wasn't near. Are you doing your thing? I want to see you do your thing. You're like getting stuck on these guys and distracted. All right, shoot those guys. You can do it. Come on, man. You got it. I have no idea if it hit. Maybe it did. Oh, it seems like it did. He got debuffed, so. All right, let's claim victory. Close victory. Ah, uh, you know, I screwed up with that cavalry. Kind of got routed. Could have been decisive, but. End result is relatively the same. We will definitely occupy. We completed our mission, which gets us five public order, 25 faction support. Good stuff. Uh, next one is construct or upgrade a building in Xinyang, which is the main city that we start with. The elder statesman provides for his people first. That's what we do. All right, so next plan of action... Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get him. I, I need to attack this. So that'll take five turns to get there. We have to pass by our city anyway, so I'll go ahead and hit that. So what do we want to do? We're at negative nine uh, public order right now because of this building. It gives us income, but it also gives us major negative public order. And we also need to figure out our food situation. All right, so let's do some diplomacy first. Let's do a quick deal. Uh, see who we can trade with. 399, 298, or 365. Hmm. Well, Dong Xiao is a bad dude, but we can get the most amount of money from him and he'll take the deal. Let's negotiate. Actually, do you, do you guys have food? You do have food. What if we try and do a trade agreement with this dude? The Han Empire. Negotiate. We have much to discuss. What if we ask for three food? What will we have to do? Okay, we'll have to make up 4.2. So we'll have to pay them. Uh, I don't think I like that. I think I want to go back to let's let's do this. We'll just take the trade deal with this guy. We'll try and nickel and dime him. Get some more money here. Request a regular payment. What can we get? Forty. Forty-one maybe. Forty-one works. What about forty-two? Where is the magic spot? All right, so 42. We'll get 42 a turn on top of our trade deal with this. That's pretty good. People won't like us for having a, a treaties with, with that guy, but um, I mean, I already have a treaty with him, so. All right, let's maybe get some food from one of our vassals. I don't think you have enough. To, you only have two. You have three. Let's get three food from this guy. We want your three food, and how do we do that? Uh, we can offer guarantee of autonomy. Oh, and we get and and he'll take that. The plus ten. That's nice. We can nickel nickel and dime this guy too. Looks like twenty is probably our magic number here. Whoops, not two hundred. Twenty. All right. Okay, so we have our food figured out for at least the next ten turns. Um, food, okay, so what do we want to build? So, state's workshop is always nice in the, in the higher levels because it reduces corruption. Lodging is the special building that replaces the inn and it adds to, uh, wait, what is happening? Thought this was supposed to add to um, experience. Is it a higher level that does that? What am I missing? Maybe I just read it wrong. Hmm. There's the character experience from the school. Plus 10% income from commerce. I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering that wrong, but I thought this gave money and character experience. I don't know. Let me know if I'm completely wrong. Maybe they changed that. I've, I have no idea. Um, so at the very least in like my, my default state, uh, you know, look, cities or whatever I like to get some commerce and some uh, industry going because I feel like those are the easiest to buff with like assignments and, and different uh, uh, research technology so 
Yeah, I think I'm still just gonna go ahead and do the lodging. And I'm gonna get rid of this Im immediately so we can stop with the negative uh, public order. All right, let's see. They became friends, great. Yep, we got our, our little domain. We did our mission, we got a new mission, and we did our diplomacy. All right, so we can do an assignment, okay. Let's see what we have available. What is our income look like? Peasantry and industry. So we can get an extra 50% on peasantry. Since it's kind of like our only uh, income right now, it'd be a decent boost. Um, we can have our wife do it. Let's do that. Fantastic. All right, what else are we missing? What else do we need to look at? Um, characters are all fine. Actually, let's go ahead and assign this other item to one of these dudes. Actually, I don't I don't really care about these guys yet. I think I'll just hold on to it and wait and see what happens. Uh, so they're set up to move over there. Uh, we can't build anything else. Known factions. Okay, I think we're ready to end the turn. So overall plan, let's see. Uh, we're going to build up our army. We're probably just going to get the cheapest characters to fill out an entire army, and then we'll move down here. Take this mine, take that town. Hopefully he doesn't take over uh, any of the area of our, our vassal here. All right, end turn. Yeah, he's moving on my guy. He just killed his army. Hopefully he can hold on to that. Uh, I think that's farmland right there. All right, so let's move this guy over. Faction development, yep, we completed our thing. And there's people in our court we can uh, we can hire if we want. So there, yeah, I got rid of that thing. We lost some money, but public order is back on track. Uh, we'll get some commerce and some uh, industry going here in the next couple of turns. Yuan Shao moved down on the hand here, so now he's like, I mean, this guy is right on my border, so I very, very much predict a, a, a quick little conflict with him after we deal with um, the yellow uh, yellow turban rising here, or rebellion. How are you doing? You are not going to be able to hold that. All right, so recruiting stuff. Um, so with, with the 1.3 changes, the commanders have access to, to way more uh, stuff like they're almost more like well-rounded instead of just the uh, the yellow like melee cavalry they were before so I think I, I hate doing this but I think I really just need to get the cheapest stuff to fill out an entire army that way it doesn't cripple our economy we can still invest in our cities and stuff like that so I think I'm just gonna do this we we'll get two more archers here uh, archer militia we have two swords, two axes. Gonna need some uh, G militia. And I really don't want to spend that money on the on the cab there. So I think okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll do this. We'll do one, two. This is gonna have to go over a couple turns. One, two. We're already down to eight seventy-two. We'll be gaining a turn. So next turn we'll be at that city. Actually, is that the quickest way down there? To we're gonna have to go through Yuan Shao's uh, territory. That'll give us a dipl diplomatic hit, but we don't care about him anyway. So yeah, crossing this bridge is the is the best course of action. We'll just go to that city next turn. We'll try and recruit four more. Hopefully we can afford it. Could probably only afford two more. I mean that'll give us a pretty decent army we'll be missing two slots but that's fine I think so yeah we'll we'll recruit the two more we'll, we maybe have to sit in our own territory for another turn or two to finish mustering I maybe should have done a different assignment 
Yeah, I could have done better uh, mustering, and it wouldn't have taken as long. Oh well, we're making more money. It's okay. Um, so we have two turns until our first reform. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Typically, I, I go right for some industry uh, anti-corruption buildings uh, technology, just so I have it. Uh, I'm in, in dire need of better food sources, so maybe we'll invest in some early green. There's always the opportunity of just going full commerce in the blue and just buying food from people until we have our own uh, stabilized. But um, I'll try and figure something out. Or if you guys have suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But I think this is going to be a good place to end the episode. We kind of have a clear path ahead of us. We'll take out the yellow turban, and then we'll probably pick a fight with uh, Yuan Shao here. So let me know. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or general strategies, feel free to, to leave them. I'd appreciate it. I mean, I'm not I'm not new to the Total War uh, genre. I've actually been playing since the, the first Shogun. Um, but you know, I'm I'm not I'm not I wouldn't call myself an expert on any of these games. So if you want to contribute and you have stuff to uh, to add, feel free. I'd I'd love it. So um, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notifications so you know when the next episode of this series comes out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.